Hey guys, it's Brené. Welcome to this home decor Christmas edition. As you can see, I have no idea how to call this one, but we'll go with that. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be using some polymer clay, the kind of clay that you bake and hardens. I realized after doing this that for next plate that I make, I'm going to be actually using the air dry type clay. It's a kind of clay that dries with air. You don't need to bake that one, but you live and learn. But I'm going to be using this empty bottle of wine to just flatten it. Uh, you can use a roller as well. They sell plastic uh, rollers. I'm just going to be taking this big cookie cutter. I'm going for an, an ornament home decor. So I'm just going to cut it like that. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to be taking a leftover piece and I'm just going to draw this bit right here with a pencil or you can use a pen. And I'm just going to cut it using my X-Acto knife, that piece. It's pretty much like what holds the ornament to the Christmas tree, if you know what I mean. Then I'm going to be taking my translucent liquid sculpey, it's TLS, this one, and I'm just going to glue those parts together. When you bake your piece, it will act like a glue and these pieces won't fall apart. And then I decide to just go ahead and use more leftover and just kind of like cut a piece and just use some TLS as well. And then go to the back because I felt like it, it needed more security on the back and then that's what I did there. Then I took more polymer clay and I shaped it into a shape of a snake and then once that's done um, I'm just going to go and use more TLS and go all around that part like that and then I'm just going to place my snake all around it like so. This is pretty much so my base um, is not flat when I put it on the table. Because of that, because I don't want it to be flat, I'm going to be using a this leftover piece of random uh, polymer clay. I'm going to place it on the bottom in there, just in the middle, so it dries with that kind of shape, if that makes any sense. I really hope I am really explaining what I'm doing in this video and hopefully what you can see it right now makes some sense, but I'm going to just place that underneath in there and then just make it curvy or just uh, not as flat. Then I'm just going to bake it according to my package instructions. This piece is baked and cooled and I'm just going to be using some white acrylic paint and brush. I'm just going to be covering the top part, which is the part that you see that is going to be uh, on the top. Then on the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead with some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to cover the uh, bottom part because I want it to be black. This following part pretty much depends on you and what you want to uh, paint your ornament. I went with red, as you can see. I lost the footage of this part of me painting, but basically what I did is painted the bigger part red and the smaller part gold. And then I'm taking this small brush and I'm just adding a few um, details to make this nice not flat but just to make it you know look shiny and stuff like that last but not least i'm just going to protect this thing by using uh, this gloss that i bought at home depot but it's just going to protect this sign and it's going to make it last longer and plus it's going to you know make it shiny and yeah this is pretty much what we have right now i chose to wear it for rings but you can pretty much use it for anything that you want keys rings earrings small necklaces or small items that you have laying around the house that you don't really know where to put them this kind of plates are really cool idea on how you can keep your space as clean as you want it to be and this is a festive as well my clay was a bit bubbly and that's why it's not flat and this is because it was an old clay but hopefully you like this one and this idea if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up help us out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it thank you so much for watching more christmas videos coming up and i'll take you later bye guys